Hey guys, new website here. That's right, I have a brand new website. If you guys wanna go check that out, you could check out my projects, you could check out the Pig K Card Academy, you could check out my merch, and you could even check out a little bit of a hot blog post I got there. So you could go check that out. It's all professional looking. It looks like somebody made it. I put it on Squarespace. Not a sponsor, although they should be. So you should go and totally check that out when you get the chance or some hot material there. And if you sign up for the little newsletter, you get a, a free trick. That's right, a free trick sent your way. You could just put your little email there, you press send, and then you get a little bit of a hot link that shows you uh, a crazy card trick that you could use to impress your friends and family at your next bar mitzvah. Hey, hey guys, new YouTube channel here. That's right, not only do I have a brand new website, Piggy also has a brand new YouTube channel. That's right, you should totally check that out. Pig Cake Plus. Not sure what you're gonna find there, to be honest. Not sure what you might, you might find some tech reviews. You might find some Pig Cake recipes some reviews for like diet coke and stuff i don't know things are crazy things are crazy there whoa you should totally subscribe though to that secondary channel uh just uh, just because it's a little bit of a hot piggy conduit there not a lot of magic you're not gonna see a lot of magic there so some of you guys might not be interested in that because um but the rest of you should totally check that out because there's other uh, stuff so the link is gonna be either up here or down there so you gotta just make your choice either up here and hit this card that's never timed well or down here and look at the link to all the things that I've mentioned in this video thus far oh boy I'm so excited I can't wait to see what's inside inside that channel I mean oh yeah hmm uh, oh yeah so oh, I, I promised the card control right I said hey I'd show you guys a little bit of a sloppy card control and that's what I'm going to show you guys because you guys like uh, magic because you are fucked. So here's what it looks like. Here's what it looks like. It's, it's a very simple control to do. It's uh, based on some Leonard Green stuff, but it's uh, sloppy. That's that's kind of the point of it. It's not one of these uh, very controlled, contrived shuffles where you're doing uh, one of these, you know, um, one of these actions. You're 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 essentially uh, using and exploiting this, the fact that you look like you don't know what you're doing uh, to your advantage here. So now you have the spectator touch any card they want. Let's say they touch this card over here. In this case, this is the nine of spades. This card gets returned somewhere in the middle of the deck. And you inform the spectator that you don't really care about where their card goes. And it's very important that not even I know where that card is because sometimes magicians tend to control cards and you wanna show that there's absolutely no control on your end here so you mix the cards up it doesn't matter there are cards going in cards going on top cards going in the bottom uh, you show that the cards not on top nor the bottom and uh, from here you proceed from there you proceed ready with your favorite card trick uh lying immensely to the spectator because the card is in fact on top of the deck oh yeah man huh <sighs> you know sometimes oh hey you want to know how that's done all right, I see what you want, but before I show you how that's done, we need to go to one of my favorite segments of the show, which is uh, tape, the tape part of the show. Um, tape is so useful. It's so good. You could stick things to things. You could put two things together that weren't meant to be together. You could use it to hold a, a portrait up. Man, I love tape. Tape is so versatile. If I had the option to not live with tape, I would rather not live at all because tape is uh, one of the best things ever invented. So get yourself some tape. All right, that's the uh, tape portion. Now the control, now the car card control here. So for this, we're gonna spread the cards out. We're gonna have the spectator pick any card they want. And while they're looking at it, you're gonna do uh, nothing essentially, but you're gonna spread to the lower thirds of the deck. So you're gonna have them replace their card in the lower thirds of the deck. The reason for this is because you're essentially not moving this entire block of cards. So if you, for example, have them return it to the middle of the deck, then it looks a little bit more fishy because you notice uh, you're shuffling the cards on top and there's this huge chunk that doesn't get shuffled. It's gonna make sense once I show you uh, the, the actual context of the shuffle here. But ultimately, you have them return their cards somewhere in the lower third of the deck and you obtain a pinky break above their card. So you put your little pinky in there 
like it's uh, Sarah Rodriguez in the fourth grade prom. So there you go. You have a pinky there. And then now you're ready to go. Now you're ready to do this control and uh, have a good time with it. So all you're doing is you're gonna spread some cards in your hand, of course, maintaining the break, and you're just going to sloppily shuffle these cards back on top of the deck. And you're gonna repeat this, getting more and more cards each and every time. However, making sure never to disturb the fact that you're holding a pinky break. This is the first aspect of this control and something along the lines of what you might see by uh, magicians like Leonard Green or other magicians who have taken up that style of chaos in their card magic. So that is the first thing you're doing, of course, while maintaining the uh, pinky break. Now, as far as the control aspect of this, after you've done sufficient of these shuffles to mix the deck up and to kind of show that you really don't want to know or care where the spectator's card resides, uh, what you're going to do is that you're going to start spreading and putting cards from the right handed spread above. And then you're going to grab a chunk and put it below. And then you're going to put a chunk above. And then finally, once you get near the pinky break, what you're going to do is that you're going to put all those cards on the bottom and then finally take this card, which is a spectator's card, take a chunk, put it on top, and then lastly, put the remaining cards on bottom. Now, if you want at this point, you could do a little bit of a dribble double to show the spectator that their card isn't on the bottom or on the top, of course, uh, maintaining the card on top. So you do a hot little control there. So all in all, one more time, you, uh, you're you mixing cards up in this haphazard style. You're just shuffling them up. And then ultimately, when you want to control the spectator's card to the top, you're just going to spread cards and put them in your right hand, spread a chunk, put it on top, spread another chunk, put it on bottom, spread another chunk, put it on top, spread another chunk, put it on bottom. You get to the spectator's card, put that stuff on the top, then put the remaining cards on bottom, and you have a nice little bit of an easy sloppy card control that you could use uh, to just show that you don't care. That's that's kind of the point of this. You're showing to the spectator that you don't care. Too many times, all these controls are very neat. They're very organized. They're very uh, contrived. They're very, you know, perfect. You want a control that looks like uh, you have some sort of syndrome. That's that's kind of what you want to do. So for this particular control, all this it's haphazard. It doesn't matter where the cards go, but ultimately you're still able to control the spectator's card in this chaos uh, that is this control. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. I hope you guys uh, do this and I hope you guys uh, practice Santeria because uh, Santeria is, is kind of cool. Check out the website, guys. Check out the website and subscribe to the other channel because uh, there's going to be some hot content on there. If there already isn't uh, some hot content, then there is going to be some hot content. Although by the time this video goes up, there's probably going to be at least one video on that channel. So you guys should totally check that out. Ah, I think that's it, right? I think that's that's pretty much everything here. Um, look at this. Look at that. You don't see that every day, right? You don't see that every day. I'm going to go figure out different ways to use a one of those stretchy weight things you know what i'm talking about that people used to work out i'm gonna figure out ways to use that in order to protect myself from the elements i'm gonna do that see you again when i see you again when i see you